Hi, this is Frank Furness, and welcome to Tools and Tips, where I'll be discussing and showing you all kinds of tools you can use with regard to internet technology, websites, e-marketing, developing products. Also, take a look at my website, www.frankfurness.com, or drop me an email, frank at frankfurness.com. Remember to download my free internet ebook, and in that there'll be all kinds of tips and ideas, tools that you can download from the internet, tools that I've actually tried out that you can buy and use for various things. That's yours for free, www.frankfurness.com forward slash internet CFM. Well, let's get started. Right now, let's take a look at emails, and you can either use a program like Microsoft Outlook, Outlook Express, there's some more advanced ones like ACT or Goldmine, but I'm just going to take a look at a basic program like Microsoft Outlook. This is what the program looks like, and let's say I wanted to compose a new email. I would click New, and what you will see there is something called a signature file. Do you know when you receive an email from somebody, and you think, let me contact them straight away, but you don't know where their phone number is, make it easy for the person you're sending an email to. So put in your name, telephone number, I have my fax number, my Skype address, as well as my web address. I would then just go into the to, and here I would just click who I'm sending it to, let's just put in there frank at frankfurnace.com, click on that there, and let's call this a test. And you would then just go to the send. Now, if I click that there, it would go into the send. I'm not connected to the, the internet at the moment, but what that would do, it would put it into my outbox, and as soon as I connect to the internet, that would then send off that message. So, how do we put in a signature file like that? Because it's pretty important to have that. Well, we would go into Tools, then into Options, we would go into mail format, and then right down here, you'll see signatures. Now, let's say I, there's my original signature. You can see I've got a second signature, and let's say I wanted to add a new signature. I would just go new, and we'll call this Frank3. We'd go next, and you can then put in whatever you want there. So I'll put in international speaker. You might type in international sports person, swimmer, whatever it is, uh, your telephone number, fax number, contact details. You would then finish, and there you've got three different options. So now we go OK, and yeah, you can see that you've got different options. So I can either put in Frank 2, Frank 3, whichever I want for my, my new messages. Over here, signature for replies and forward. So once again, if you're forwarding an email to somebody, you could automatically have that signature. So for replies and forwards, I always have that same one as well. So I just go apply, and there it is. We can then send it off, and away you go. So it's pretty easy to do emails. Some of the things that you should remember, don't type in capitals because it's like shouting to somebody. Try and avoid putting in too many superlatives. Great, fantastic, those kinds of words. Keep it simple and quick for them to read. One of the other things you might want to do is, let's say we were doing a new email, I'd open a new email, and I want to attach a file, if you have a look here at that little thing there, click on that. Now I could attach a file, it'll take you into your My Doc box, and let's say I wanted to put in the top brands, I just double click on that, go insert, and there you can see it's inserted that file. I would then once again just click send. So there we go, sending off an email, adding a signature to it, and adding attachments.